I'm making this video again. I did another version of this a couple years ago, but things haven't changed and I'm making another video just to remind you not to buy your ocarina off of Amazon. And look, I love Amazon, don't get me wrong. I just wouldn't recommend getting an actual instrument off of Amazon. So in the first video that I did, a lot of people are like, oh, I have that exact instrument and that's why it doesn't sound good. And then in other videos, they haven't seen that particular don't buy your instrument off of Amazon and people will comment on a tutorial, let's say, and say, hmm, why is my instrument not sounding good? I got this particular one off of Amazon and I'm like, oh no, it's still happening. So again, I wanted to make another video to help spread the word and remind people not to get their instruments off of Amazon. Before we get started, a place I would recommend for you to get an ocarina from is STL Ocarina. If you use my code Gina on their website, you'll get 10% off of your purchase. I have been playing on exclusively STL Ocarinas for the past, I don't know, four or five years. I've played so many of their instruments and their instruments are actually meant to be played. And I've not had a bad experience with them ever. So that's the reason that I'm recommending them to you. I feel so bad because I know it's so frustrating, especially when you're starting a new instrument, you get it, you're trying to play it and you're wondering, what am I doing wrong? Why doesn't this sound right? And then immediately you usually go to, oh, I must be doing something wrong. It's not the instrument, it's me, which it could be potentially. And I actually have a video walking you through that, which is right here. Check that out, see if maybe one of those problems might be what's happening to you. But unfortunately, a lot of times, it's not you, it's the actual instrument that you're playing on. Now, I'm sure you did your due diligence when you were shopping on Amazon. I know I do, typically what I'm looking for is, of course I wanna find the thing that's the most affordable, but I also am looking at the reviews. I'm looking at the number of reviews, I'm actually looking at the reviews and seeing what people are saying. And Ultimately, if I see something that has a more affordable option and it has a ton of reviews and great reviews and people are raving about the thing, I'll usually give it a shot, which is why I imagine most of you guys are finding yourself here right now. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you three different ocarinas that I purchased off of Amazon. I followed what I just told you about. I looked and I found things that were more affordable, but also things that had a lot of great reviews and a lot of reviews. I was looking for an ocarina in the key of C. That is very important because Obviously, the tuning is going to be different if you have an ocarina, let's say, in the key of F. It's going to sound different. So I was looking for ones that were in the key of C. And also because I know a lot of people who start on the ocarina are finding the ocarina because of Zelda, which is so cool that a video game is bringing awareness to an instrument that is not as popular as others, let's say a piano or guitar. It's bringing awareness to this instrument, which I think is so cool. So I wanted to find ones that were a Zelda themed ocarina in the key of C. So that's how I purchased these ones and I picked these out was looking for that criteria. In my last video that I was talking about Amazon ocarinas, I did get some complaints. People were saying, oh, this video is just a big ad for STL Ocarina. It's true, these videos are sponsored by STL Ocarina, but the reason that I actually partner with them is because I like their instruments. They're all that I play on and I have been for a long time. I use them for actual professional recordings and so I feel comfortable recommending them and I would want people to go to a place that they can go to a website, find an instrument they like and they can be confident in what it is that they are purchasing rather than something from Amazon uh, or another place. There, look, there are other instrument shops that I personally haven't tried and I'm sure there are other quality instruments but just from my own research and what I play on, that's why I recommend STL is just because I have played so many of their instruments and they all play well. They're meant to be played. A lot of ocarinas are meant to be more of a toy or something for kids. And so that's the reason that, again, I recommend STL. One thing that I wanted to show you is that this is so random. All three of the ocarinas that I got on Amazon had pretty much the exact same box. They're not by the same company, but they have almost the exact same box, which I found really interesting. So let me show you what those look like. So almost the exact same there. Um, let me show you the front of the box. The same. And then the tops of the boxes actually look very similar as well. Um, that's one of them. 
This one's slightly different than the other two, but then this one is the exact same as the first one. So yeah, that's what those look like. The other thing that I find really confusing is several of these come with songbooks and every single one of them, the back of the box looks like this and it's giving you a fingering chart. It's giving you tabs. So what that reads to me is these are supposed to be played. They can't be played, but they're supposed to be played. So I wanted to share that with you before actually playing any of these. And also another thing that all three of these ocarinas had in common is all three of them are made out of ceramic. So all three of the ones from Amazon look almost identical. So I'm just gonna show you one of them. So this is what it looks like. It looks like it should be playable. It has the correct amount of holes. It is the correct shape. It looks like it should play. And then this is the one from SEL Ocarina. Obviously there's a slight difference in the size and shape as well as the color, but they're very, very similar. If you told me, if I was just looking at these and I was told this one plays and this one determine whether this does or does not play, I would think based on just the appearance and comparing the two that it would play if this one plays but that's unfortunately not the case. So this particular one at the time that I purchased it was $15.99 and it had four star ratings and it had 822 reviews. So I'm going to play a little bit for you so you can hear what it sounds like. This is in the key of C, just keep that in mind. I'm gonna keep going. One thing I will mention is a lot of times on ocarinas, if you find one that doesn't sound good, especially in the high register, it's gonna sound super wonky. This one already sounds really wonky, but let's play the higher notes just so that we can hear what that sounds like. I can barely get those out. And that's a comment I get very frequently. Why are the high notes not playing? probably unfortunately your instrument. So I'm gonna play that one more time for you, but if you notice, it's just, it's not actually moving the way it's supposed to. The notes are not spaced out enough. The tuning is absolutely not correct, but let me play it for you. I'll play it back to back with my SL Ocarina so that you can hear the difference right off the bat. Okay, let me switch it out for the other ocarina. Okay, let's try this one. It's very easy to play into that high register. You notice it's not squeaky. All the notes are spaced out the way they are supposed to be spaced out. It's just a world of difference. So now let's move on to the second one that I got from Amazon. So this one is $16.99, so a dollar more than the last one that I played for you. It also has four stars and it has 512 reviews. Let's hear what this one sounds like. So those notes right there are just so off. Let's try that again. about as good as I can get that note out. And I'm trying to play these the best I can, by the way, this is not faking. Um, let's just one more time do it and then I'll compare it to the STL Ocarina one. I will say, I think in the high register is slightly better than the last one. Doesn't sound correct, but it's not as like airy. Let's try it compared to the other one though. So this is the STL Ocarina. There's really no comparison. Okay, last up, I have another one from Amazon. This one is $19.99, so a little bit more expensive than the last two. This one also has four stars and has 259 reviews. Let's hear what it sounds like. <laughs> wow, 
wow, there was a lot of jumping around there. So it was like really bad in the low register and then it got like really high. I don't know if you noticed in the high register. Let me play it for you one more time. Right there is really bad. Like changes scale basically. It's, it's pretty awful, to be honest. Now, instead of playing on the ceramic ocarina from STL, I'm gonna play it compared to a plastic ocarina from STL, which is, of course, more affordable than their ceramic, but just so that you can hear, even the one that is more affordable, in my opinion, it just sounds so much better than these ones from Amazon. So again, this is a plastic ocarina off of STL ocarina, and it is in the key of C. So the scale sounds great, you can play the high notes, it's in tune, it makes a huge difference having an instrument that is actually supposed to be played. So now let's talk prices because I want to be transparent with you so that we know about the cost, that's very important. So the first ocarina that I played for you off of Amazon was $15.99. This one right here, which is not ceramic, the three that I had from Amazon were ceramic, this one is plastic. This one is $25. However, this one actually is playing the correct notes. You can play the high register, it has a great sound. The other three from Amazon, even though they are ceramic, which usually has a little bit more of a richer sound compared to plastic, in my mind do not at all compare to the plastic one from STL Ocarina. So again, this one is $25. So let me play that in comparison to the ceramic one, which I will play for you in just a second. Now, this is the ceramic one from STL Ocarina. Again, in the key of C, it is a little bit more expensive. It is a more advanced instrument, and this one is $60. Let me play this one for you. Anyway, I wanted to give you two alternatives to the ones from Amazon. Like I said, the plastic one is very similar in pricing and sounds a lot better and is actually playable, whereas the ones from Amazon, unfortunately, do not play well. Now, I'm not saying I have played every single ocarina off of Amazon because truthfully, I haven't. There are so many and I didn't honestly want to purchase every single one. So it's possible. Yes, there are some possibly on Amazon that play well, but I cannot tell you which ones do and do not play well. And I don't think there's any way to really determine that unless you actually purchase it yourself and try it. And so ultimately, I just feel like the plastic one from STL Ocarina, you know it's $25, so it's very close in price to the ones from Amazon, uh, the most affordable ones that they have on Amazon, by the way and it actually plays. So if you want to play the game of buying and returning, by all means, do your thing. Um, I personally, though, just hate running to the post office all the time, dropping off returns. It's annoying. So if you're looking for something that you can actually just know, I can buy this once, it's going to play. I don't have to worry about being frustrated or problem shooting figuring out is it something I'm doing wrong or is this something wrong with the instrument, then I would probably go with the STL Ocarina plastic route. And if you want something a little bit more advanced, you could go with the ceramic. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and also if you have other ideas for Ocarina subjects, tutorials, anything that you can think of, let me know. Thank you so much to SEL Ocarina for making this video series possible. If you're interested in learning the Ocarina, I have a playlist for you right here. And make sure to subscribe to me here on YouTube so that you don't miss any of my future Ocarina videos. You can also find me on Instagram and TikTok, and I want to wish you the best of luck on your Ocarina journey.